Thank you, Corey. Well, we have something special here. For mm. the next few months, we're going to feature some restaurants of the Fun Not Fancy Restaurant Group. And first up today, perfectly timed for the day we've been having, <laughs> Jamie Jackson along with us. We're going to make a, a spooky cocktail. Jamie, good morning. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank first you for off, being here. let's talk about you. Let's talk about the Fun Not Fancy Restaurant Group. Who is it? Yeah, my name is Jamie Jackson. I'm the beverage director with the Fun Not Fancy Restaurant Group. Uh, we're a restaurant group of seven restaurants here in Cedar Rapids and Marion. Um, we have uh, Brick Rick's Bar and Grill, LP Street Food, Cliff's, Hipster, Sacred Cow, MoCo, and the last one, which is one we're going to talk about today, is Taco Gato. That is the newest one that we opened back on April 18th. Yeah, that one is downtown Cedar Rapids, right? Yeah, just a few, just a block or two down the road, 209. Mm. Um, what cocktail third. are we going to be? Yeah, we just launched a new cocktail menu yesterday oh. uh, to go along with the spooky Halloween theme. This is our Espresso Meow Teeny. We're yeah. suckers for cat puns at Taco Gato. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. But it's delicious. Okay, well, we'll let's you, yeah, make exactly. one. You yeah. do the voodoo you do, and we'll just yeah. kind of describe you got, and talk. We've already got one made, but first off, we're going to start with a little bit of rich demerara syrup, and then we're going to follow that off with some cold brew concentrate, which is my favorite things to, to use for espresso martinis. Yeah. This is actually made by our friends at Kismet Coffee and Bloom and delivered fresh to us Wow. every week. They also just had a baby. Congratulations, Jeremiah That's and Maya. A gorgeous place, too. There are <laughs> exactly. flowers and there yeah. couch upstairs. Yeah, and then we've got uh, our secret ingredient, which is a house. Amaro blend. Uh, this has two different Italian liqueurs and then one Swedish liqueur and a little bit of bitters in it. So we'll do one ounce of that. Mm -hmm. And then we have our coffee liqueur. Coffee liqueur is a classic ingredient in an espresso martini. Uh, this is a tequila based coffee liqueur because as Taco Gato is a tequila bar. We are going to do three quarters of an ounce for each cocktail for that, Cantera Negra. And then uh, instead of vodka, we're subbing out a tequila, um, Herradura Añejo. This is an Añejo that's aged for 23 or 25 months, which is 13 months beyond the standard. Um, in American White Oak, it brings a lot of really lovely aged character to the drink. I have milk in my fridge that's aged about the same time. Oh, Ooh, I think you need about cheese. <laughs> As you're making this, Jamie, about this drink, is yeah. there any history to the drink, a story that goes along yeah. with it? Yeah, so espresso martinis are actually more of what you would consider a modern classic. They came out in the 1980s. Uh, the story is that Kate Moss actually sat at a bar and asked the bartender to make something that would get her drunk and also wake her up at the same time. So <laughs> he threw together uh, co uh, espresso, coffee liqueur, vodka, and some sugar and uh, the espresso martini was born, but it's actually resurged in popularity lately. The thing about espresso martinis is that you have to shake them very hard to get them nice and frothy and get this beautiful foam on top. So I was going to say, is this I'm something say, watch we out. need to take a step yeah. back? <laughs> How long have you been doing this, Jamie? I've been bartending for seven years now. Okay. You ever, you ever have the lid pop off when you're doing that? No, but I did smack myself so hard in the head one time I gave myself a concussion. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a while ago, don't worry. Because <laughs> you don't think oh, about oh, those come on. casualties. It's fun to see it on camera. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Now, as, as you mix Ooh. this, and again, we're going to be featuring different, you know, recipes from all the different restaurants. What is it about this one that you enjoy so much? Oh, this is the perfect cocktail for any time of day, uh, whether it's like early afternoon, maybe in the morning on the news, or um, after dinner sort of drink. Um, it's smooth, it's velvety, it's got a little bit of smokiness from this uh, coffee liqueur. This is unlike any espresso martini you've probably ever had. The tequila and the coffee liqueur and then the Amaro blend really bring a fun fall spice characteristic to it. Um, and then we've got a little bit of black lava salt on the rim, brings some spooky vibes for the um, Halloween fall season, but it's a lovely yeah. drink. Mm. This one, so this one is a little darker as, that is, as it sits. Here. Yeah, as it settles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll uh, it'll turn into that color. But yeah, this oh is this is the espresso miotini on Taco Gatto's fall cocktail <laughs> menu. Well, here's the thing: is as director Sean is turning the camera, you have enough of these that that'll spin really quick. So <laughs> seasonality. I want to mention real quick. Now this is you rolled out a special menu yesterday. You're going to yeah. be doing something as we head to the holidays, like yeah. a Thanksgiving inspired drink. Too. Absolutely. Yeah, we have seasonal cocktail menus that pop up and features all the time. Um, for most of the restaurants, we change our like long-standing cocktail menu every six months. So right now, uh, LP Street Food, Taco Gato, and Hipster are all changing their cocktail menus right now. Um, and the other restaurants change seasonally as well. So there's always something new and fun and interesting to be had mm -hmm. at all of these places. Mm -hmm, that's well, look true. at some of this food here, too. I mean, yeah, you can go have a cocktail after work, but look at some of the menu. This that's is actually just our Wednesday special, the yeah. Media Noche sandwich. Uh, harkens to our uh, location. Um, 
that used to be the Lost Cubans, so we make a Cuban-style sandwich available every Wednesday. Now, did that person know you were taking our pictures? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and again, remind everybody the group or the restaurants that make up this group because we want to send a ton of people there because you're, you're, you're being good to us, helping us with breakfast this morning. We want to yeah. send people out to you for lunch. And yeah, stuff. the Fun Not Fancy group consists of uh, Bricks, uh, LP Street Food, MoCo, Cliffs, a Hipster, Sacred Cow, and Taco Gato. Gotcha. Mm. Now, you'll notice when we, we didn't give the specific amounts of ingredients because it's an industry secret. We don't give that away, but is this something, you know, that's left, best left to a professional? Uh, certainly you could make this at home. Uh, there are some, uh, I guess, advanced techniques and interesting things that we use to make this stuff, but this certainly isn't out of the realm of a home bartender. Mm -hmm. uh, they just got to come find me and ask me for the recipe. 